Okay, we're continuing our study of derivatives, and we just learned the definition of a derivative, and we're going to apply that definition to some very simple cases, some cases that we could do intuitively on our own, and then see that that definition actually gives the same result. So think about this graph, f of x equals x. This is basically a 45 degree angle here if the axes are scaled the same way. Basically our line that we commonly think of is y equals x. So the slope of this graph is 1 everywhere, no matter what point you are on the graph, the slope is 1. So we would expect the derivative to be f prime of x equals 1. Our function would just be a simple constant, our derivative function. So let's see if the definition of the derivative actually gives us that when we do the math. So f prime of x, by definition, is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And so let's put this function in. Our function is just x, so f of x plus delta x is simply x plus delta x. So we still need to write limit out here to be correct. Limit is delta x approaches 0, and then this function is just x plus delta x and then minus f of x here, and f of x is just x. So minus x, and you can see this is really easy, over delta x. These cancel out, the x and the minus x, and we're just left with the limit as delta x approaches 0 of delta x over delta x. Now if we let delta x be 0, then that's 0 over 0, but clearly delta x over delta x simplifies to 1. So this is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 1, which is simply 1, and exactly what we expected. Okay, now that's really a simple example, almost a trivial example, but we're going to generalize that result now. now let's look at the next example. f of x is equal to ax. Okay, this is very similar, but you should recognize this function right here, ax, as a line through the origin with a slope of a. So, for example, if a was 2, this graph would have a slope of 2. But a could be anything, any number that is. a is a constant, and the slope of this graph is simply a. So we would expect the derivative to be f prime of x equals a. And let's see if the definition of a derivative gives us that. f prime of x, the derivative of function f, is going to be the limit, and uh, I'll use the h notation this time. The limit is h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, and then I'm going to come down here where I have a little bit more room over here on the left side. Okay, what is f of x plus h? That means we take function f and we plug in this for the variable. So we have to plug in x plus h right there. So let's write the limit as h approaches 0. f of x plus h is going to be a times x plus h. Then we have minus f of x, and f of x is simply ax. So it's minus ax all over h. And let's work this out. This is the limit as h approaches 0 of ax plus ah minus ax all over h. And you can see the ax and the minus ax cancel out. And so we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of ah over h. And these h's cancel. Even though this would give us 0 over 0, if we stuck 0 in for h right there, we can simplify this. Those h's cancel, and we just have the limit as h approaches 0 of a. And obviously, as h gets close to 0, as h gets close to anything, a is simply a. So that's our answer, which is what we would expect. Now, with those concepts in mind, the following should strike you as fairly obvious. The derivative of any constant function 
is going to be zero because any constant function if we have x and here's our function as long as the function is constant as long as it doesn't change value it's going to have a slope of zero at every single point so this is really easy if f of x is three and again the, the simple the picture is incredibly simple here's x and here's f of x if f of x is 3 that means the function has a value of 3 the whole time obviously the slope is 0 so f prime of x is 0 if f, f of x is 258,300,005 the derivative is 0 the slope at every point is 0 if f of x is k well the derivative is 0 if f of x is e squared over pi e remember is a constant and pi is a constant so e squared over pi is a constant so the derivative is 0 and then down here let's just think about any straight line the derivative of any straight line is simply the slope of the line so if we have f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 well the derivative there would simply be 3 this is a line with a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 5 and so the derivative is the slope it's just 3 if we have a line like this y equals mx plus b that might be hard to read there that's a plus sign y equals mx plus b then the derivative is m the slope of the line and then the point here is that you should recognize these as obvious and if you have a function that's that's a constant function or a really simple function you don't need to go through the process of working out the derivative based on the definition of a derivative it should be immediately clear to you that the slope of a constant function is zero or if it's a linear function and you have an equation for the line the derivative is simply the slope of that line